I'd like to find out about the poachers around here who've been stealing game recently. If you ask me, there's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Elena if you're determined. That old gossip will tell you all there is to know. I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer hair. He's the one who's been running amok. I said he'd be back, and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the Hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the Huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well? That one always knew how to land on his feet. Has anyone actually seen this hammock in here? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right. But he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't be catching him anytime soon. But Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Cavorting and raising hell. Sorcery! Hare meets up with his sorcerer's apprentices, and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn into ravens and scatter. Or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. Who knows what she saw? Or what she was doing there with them. Very well. I'll ask. Thanks. I think I know all I need. I've got a few questions about these poachers. So ask. I heard you saw something fishy in the forest. That's right, I did. Can you describe what you saw? It was after dark, I remember that. I went up past the castle along by the clearing and I saw someone had lit a fire and there were figures singing and dancing and I could hear the whistling of a pipe. And I could smell roast meat. It was like a feast of some sort. Only I thought maybe it was some witch's sabbath, so I was afraid to stay too long in case they saw me. What do you make of this poaching that's been going on? It's clear as day. Hannikin hair's back. And putting those antlers on Nicholas's house? Well, we all know what that means, don't we? It's the sign of a cuckold, you mark my words. You're the first who's certain of Hare's return. So far, I've just heard vague rumours. Well, now, I wouldn't say I'm completely sure. I suppose some other mischief maker could have done it, but better the devil you know, and everyone hereabouts knows Hare. You were singing a different song not long ago. So? Why do you want to know so much, anyway? It's nothing to you, but I'm helping Nicholas unmask that local poaching gang. Oh, I didn't know that. So, no, not to keep anything from me. So, what's the story with that hair? All right, I'll tell you what I know. But promise not to tell Nicholas I said it. I'll do what I can, but I need to let him know what I discover. So, out with it. It's to do with Margaret, his wife. They say it's all because of her. Keep going. I know full well hair's here, because Margaret admitted as much. What did she tell you? That he waited in the woods till she came by and they exchanged some words. Words was all she told me. Who knows what they actually got up to. And what did they speak about? I don't know. But if Nicholas knew they'd met, he'd most likely kill her. You're sure she wasn't saying it in jest? Oh, no. Margaret wouldn't joke about something like that. Her and Margaret. It was complicated. He wanted her and she wanted him too, I reckon. 
at least for a while. But then she hitched up with Nicholas, and now she says she never had a thought of wedding Hanukkah hair. That's all I need. Thanks. I'd like to ask you about Hanukkah hair. I'm sorry. The thing is, every time I spoke to someone about hair, they always ended up talking about you. But I don't. You aren't to blame for anything, is that it? Well, I am willing to believe you, but you do know more than you're telling, and I need to hear it. Very well. You're right, hair. What did you talk about in the woods with Hannah and Hare? I see Betty's mouth's been busy. Don't blame her. I had to work hard to weasel it out of her. Now tell me. Oh, all right. Well, it seems Hannah and Hare's exile has addled his brain. He told me he'd go off with me, that he still loves me and nonsense like that. And what about you? What do you mean? I was so shocked, I couldn't even scream. Is that all he told you? He said, if I change my mind, I'm to hang a garland of forget-me-nots on the house and wait for him at that place of ours. I want you to hang that garland on the lodge. But I don't want to go anywhere with him. You don't have to go anywhere. But tell me, where is that secret meeting place of yours? On the way to Ujits. Back then, we used to meet by the great big beech tree, right next to the wayside shrine. There's a lovely view there, you see. And what time will he be waiting there for you? At dawn. What are you going to do to her? Never you mind. The main thing is it will all get sorted out. And that's all that matters, isn't it? I suppose so. Very well, then. I'll hang the garland for you. That'll be everything. I'm guessing Nicholas won't be joining us. Who the devil are you? My name is Henry, and I work for the Master Huntsman. So are you going to arrest me? I am. All I ask is that you listen to me first. Why should I listen to you? Because if you care about justice, you're after the wrong man. Anyone can say that. And that's precisely why the accused should get a proper hearing. Let me guess. You're going to tell me you're innocent? I wouldn't presume. I've been poaching on the Divish estate, and I'll take the punishment I deserve. But the crime I was nearly strung up for, that one I didn't commit. Who are you, anyway? Let me introduce myself. My name is Hanuk and Hare of Zelush. A nobleman. Um, I used to be. My house became sadly impoverished, and I became the master huntsman at Talmberg. Gamekeeper turned poacher. Hmm, I see. That's quite a transformation. Nicholas gave me no choice. What happened between you and Nicholas? I was falsely accused of murder. Henry of Lipa visited Talmberg. And the morning after the banquet in his honor, one of his men was found dead. And didn't they have any cause to suspect you? That's just it. They did. At the banquet, I got into a fight. I think I've heard enough. I'm glad you stopped by. 
I want to ask one more thing about those poachers. I'm listening. Thank you, innkeeper. I'll be going. I'm glad to see you. I need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Me? Why me, for Christ's sake? Some folk had themselves a feast in the woods recently, and the people who passed by told me they heard a piper playing. You weren't by any chance there, were you? I was. I don't deny it. But nothing disreputable went on there. If you're innocent, lying won't help you. I don't know what you want from me. Nothing wrong went on in that clearing, and I certainly don't go poaching in the woods. But you do know something about it, and you're keeping it from me. Covering up for a friend, is that it? Very well. Loyalty is a fine thing, but once they discover who did it, then it'll be too late. You'll be in right in over your head, with him. But I haven't done anything. Then you have nothing to fear if you tell me what happened. All right, yes. There was venison being eaten, but I didn't bring it. Thomas brought that there. So all that bragging when he was drunk was more than just hot air? I don't know where the deer came from. After what happened in the tavern, Tom took me to the forest, to this hide there. But I was too worried someone would catch us, and I took off. You did yourself a favor. Thomas isn't going to get away with this. I'm here to find out about the poachers gang, and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. Jake Piper reckons you were at that feast. I wasn't. So you're calling Jake a liar? I don't give a toss about Jake or whatever's buzzing around that empty head of his. He probably got so drunk he had visions of me there. Look, I can see you're not a poacher. You look like you couldn't hit a barn door. That's what you think. Are you trying to tell me you're a marksman? Are you an idiot or just too vain to think straight? I don't see what you're getting at. Look, I can tell you're not the poacher, but this constant lying isn't helping your case. In the end, if they don't find anyone, they'll come after you. They'll know it's not really you, but so what? There'll be no one better to blame, and someone has to swing for it. All right. But promise me you won't drag me into anything. Speak up and who knows. I might put in a word for you. All right. The truth is I did drag a deer carcass there. But I didn't do the shooting. I was given it. That's a likely story. Honestly, not a word of a lie. I caught the poacher just as he was skinning it. And who might that be? I, I don't know. If you don't tell me who it was... I've no reason to believe that story of yours. Fine. Fine. He's one of the charcoal men. I've seen Forge. What's that? His name is Radan. But there are plenty of charcoal burners around here. He came from the charcoal piles south of here. If you follow the creek upstream, you can't miss them. Well, you better pray I find him, because if you've been lying to me, I'll go straight to the castle. Understood? I'm telling the truth, I swear. I'm sure you'll find him there. We'll see. No, of course not. Because if you knew, you'd never have been foolish enough to get involved. I'm no poacher. No, of course not. You're the Pope in disguise. What? Never mind. But just so you know, the local custom is to string poachers up. I don't want to hang. 
No? Then you better make sure they won't hang you. How? For a start, by telling me where I can find your merry band of poachers. Because maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but I don't think you're the leader. Eh? No, I'm not. So, out with it. They only take me along from time to time. All right. But you know where I can find them, don't you? Aye. And where is that? The clearing. They camp there. And where is the clearing? A short walk from here. Oh, Lord. A short walk where? Do you know how many clearings there are in these woods? No. Sorry. I don't know. Oh, my God. Where is the clearing they camp in? How do I get there? Along the trail. From the Huntsman's Lodge. Go into the wood by the big broken tree. Eastward. Very well. I hope I can find it. God's blessings. What can I do for you? I found out where those poachers meet. Well, that's at least one good bit of news. So tell me, where is it? In fact, not all that far from here. In a glade, not far from your lodge. I see. They chose that place to mock me. <laughs> I might have known. But now we can finally nab them, right? We can. Go to the castle and tell Captain Robard to send some men with you. Wait, you're not coming. I have a lot of work to do. Hmm. Of course you do. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come about the poachers, sir. Oh. Oh, so you're the one Nicholas was talking about. All right. I'll send some of my men with you. Are you ready to set off? Yes, sir. Hanneken Herr Zalush, I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talnberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The master huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, ma'am? Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. Got hair. And where is he? I last saw him lying down in the forest. Are you saying you killed him? There was no other way. I'm just glad I got out in one piece. Ah, well, I'd rather have had him alive, but what's to be done? But I can't be sure it was really hair, unless you have some proof. Uh, he had an heirloom, a signet ring. That would prove it. I have it here. It's his, all right. 
Hard to believe the legendary Hanukkah hair is gone to his maker. Anyway, I do know how to show my gratitude. Here's your reward, and stop by any time you need to. You'll always find work here. Thanks. Henry, I'm glad you... God save you. What can I do for you? Listen, innkeeper. I hear you have some game here from time to time. Aye. We have dice games happening most nights. <laughs> you make a stuffed bird laugh. You know full well what I mean. No. I've no idea what you're talking about. Are you trying to tell me some generous soul just dumped a load of game in your pantry? What? No, there's a perfectly simple explanation for that. Look, I didn't come here to make trouble. I just want to know how you came by it. I hate to tell tales on anyone. I could end up getting burned myself, literally. Would it be any better if I told tales on you? Uh, of course, now I think of it. There's nothing wrong with showing the pilgrim on his way. That's what I'm here for, after all. See? I knew we could figure something. I'll have to put you to the test. You know, I can't send every Tom, Dick and Harry to my friends. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? At the stud farm near here, there's a stable hand by the name of Jakob. Bastard got lucky at dice and won my favourite tankard off me. And what's that got to do with me? If you'd stop interrupting, you might find out. Anyway, he's so full of himself, he doesn't want to give it back. Not even for money. But he's very fond of archery. And I don't need to add he likes to make bets. I'm with you. If I can win your tanker back and bring it to you, you'll know that I... That you're not completely useless. That's right. So, get going. I'm thirsty, and I'll always taste it better out of my trusty old tanker. I'm honoured that you should come to me. I hear you want a tankard off Andrew the innkeeper. I did. Luck was on my side. What's it to you? You ought to give it back. Why should I? Because the innkeeper wants it back, and because I fucking say so. Manly words. But if you want the tankard, words won't be enough. Fine. Have it your way. No more fooling around.
I brought you back your tankers. Ah, so you're not completely useless. Lukesh will be happy to see what handy people I'm sending him. I suppose this Lukesh is your poacher friend. Now then, poacher's not a very nice word. I'll call him more a, a man who knows a good opportunity when he sees one. I see. And where can I find this opportunistic friend of yours? He lives on the hill to the north of the castle, in a small hut. If you're planning to talk to him, make sure you tell him I sent you. I won't forget. Thanks. I'm the one who should thank you. I'm looking forward to putting my lips to the old love of mine. God save you. Andrew, the innkeeper, sent me. Said you had a job for someone who's good with a bow. Did he now? That's all very well, but I don't know if you're a man I can trust. So how can I prove it to you? For a start, you can tell me why a lad like you wants to join us. I've heard it could earn me some decent coin. Yeah, that's what I used to think. Only it's not quite that simple. Why is that? You'll find out for yourself. Anyway, I have to check you out first. See if you're any good. I'm listening. To begin with, I need to know if you're at home in the woods. And if you're any kind of hunter. Bring me some deer antlers, and then we'll talk. Easy. God's blessings. What can I do for you? I was beginning to worry you'd got lost in the forest. No need to worry. I would have come back sooner, but it seemed a long way to go for just the one. Well, well, so you're keen on hunting. I like that, lad. So give me the trophy, and the first task of your trial is done. The first task? Well, there was only one to begin with, but then I thought you could do something else for us. I see. So what do you want me to do next? Kill a dragon? Catch a water sprite? Hilarious. Better listen up, lad. Nicholas the Huntsman has a very fine old hunting horn. But we'd like Nicholas better without any horns. Understand? Wait. What's all this about? Nothing to worry yourself with now. Get the horn, and we'll have a bit of fun. All right. So where is this horn? Sometimes he carries it with him. It is a badge of office, after all. But I don't suppose he sleeps with it. Best to go at night and have a look around his lodge. It's on the hill above the village, opposite the castle. Come back to me as soon as you've got the horn. I can't wait to see the look on Nicholas's face. Right, I'll get to it. Glad to hear it. Good luck.
hope I can be of some humble service to you. I need your hunting horn. What? Why, for Christ's sake? I have the poachers hooked. If I take your horn to them, they'll welcome me like a brother. But that horn's valuable. What if I never see it again? Don't worry. Give it to me, and you'll get it back along with the whole gang in chains. Trust me. All right, if I absolutely have to. But remember, if you run off with my horn, you'd better run far and fast. Here you go. Take good care of it. God grant you health. How may I help you? I have that horn for you. Ah, I'm looking forward to seeing the smile wiped off Nicholas's face when he finds out. As for you, the old man says you're in. Last time you told me that if I brought the horn, you'd finally tell me what's going on. Let's put it this way. Our old man's had it in for Master Huntsman Nicholas for years. Why does he have it in for him? There's more than one reason. But the heart of it is, Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a... for telling me. What's he trying to achieve? If you want to know, ask around the village what they think of the Master Huntsman. The old man is making a bigger and bigger fool of him day by day. Soon enough, the gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. And that's just what the old man wants. It wouldn't by any chance be that Hannikin hair everyone's talking about, would it? Hear ye, hear ye. The lad is smarter than he looks. It is him, as it happens. What have you been hearing about him? Well, I've heard all sorts of things. Some people said he's a sorcerer who can talk to animals. <laughs> I'll have to tell Hannikin that one. It's no surprise, though. To this day, folk can't get their heads around that escape of his. And how did he make his escape? What do I know? He's never told anyone. Anyway, if you want to know the details, ask him yourself. So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade, and that's where you'll find us. All right, I'll meet you there. So you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lucas tell you who's in charge? Well, speak of the devil. Started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Goathead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. I'm not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Radha and the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Why you came here? Where you come from? You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. 
Leastways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Sir! The Tomburgers are coming! Hanukkah Herr of Zalush, I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? <laughs> Henry? 